One question we get asked a lot at Drive is why are electric vehicles so expensive? Yes, you can spend a lot of money on an EV, but if you're on a budget, there are some options at the more affordable end of the spectrum. Like this. This is the MG ZS EV, and it's currently the most affordable electric vehicle on sale in Australia. It's a five-door, five-seat SUV. It has a decent battery, solid range, plenty of tricks up its sleeve, and starts from under $50,000 on the road. Speaking of which, we've mapped out a brilliant touring drive, which includes beautiful beaches and million-dollar views, which you can get not just for great value, but for absolutely nothing. The Central Coast is a region in New South Wales, lying on the Pacific Ocean north of Sydney and south of Newcastle. The area is the third largest urban area in New South Wales, and it's only 90 minutes away from the CBD. The Central Coast is fringed by over 40 beaches, but it's not just the beaches you'll be visiting, because this region is blessed with natural attractions, great food, scenic bushwalks and outdoor activities. The car that we're piloting is the MG ZS EV, and this one is the range-topping essence. Some of its standard niceties include a panoramic sunroof, heated front seats, power folding side mirrors, wireless phone charging, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto and satellite navigation. It packs a 51 kWh battery pack, giving a claimed driving range of 320 km on the WLTP cycle. We started our journey from just outside Gosford, but really, you can begin from any point at all. Just as long as there's coffee and good food, I'm not too fussy. But we've got about an hour ahead of us with lots of great places to stop off at. And I know that Sydney has great beaches, but along the central coast, I've been told that there's white sand and crystal clear waters. So we're just gonna have to see for ourselves. Let me elaborate a little bit more on that question that I raised earlier. Why electric vehicles are so expensive? It's something that we get asked a lot at Drive. And yes, you can spend a lot of coin on EVs. But as I mentioned, this here is the most affordable EV on the Australian market at the moment. It's the MG ZS EV. Starts from just under $50,000 on the road in most markets in Australia. To be clear, this is more expensive than its petrol counterpart, but to put the price point into context, the average private Australian car price is just over $50,000. So the fact that you can get this electric vehicle for under $50,000 means that a fully electric driving experience isn't out of reach for many Australian buyers. The transition is an easy one too. It feels like a regular SUV, so if you are used to a vehicle of this size, it's easy to become familiar with. We are expecting to see a lot of activity in this price point this year. Even MG is bringing out another electric vehicle which is expected to hit showrooms this year. The MG4, an electric hatchback, is expected to be similarly priced, if not even more affordable than this vehicle. Our first 
first stop is a quick and easy half an hour's drive from where we started just outside of Gosford. This is Forrester's Beach, or Forries as the locals call it, and it's located in between the bustling town of Terrigal and Bateau Bay. This coastal community is surrounded by a combination of quiet residential areas, stunning walking trail, rock pools and amazing surf. It's also a great place to begin this seaside excursion. The beauty about having so many great beaches so close to one another is if one is too packed, then it's just a quick trip down the road to try your luck at the next. We've headed further north. This is Tawoon Bay Beach. Now, if you like calming waters, this is beautiful, but we've got something even more perfect for you, and it's just down the road. If you're like me and aren't too keen on swimming in the ocean, then maybe something like this will be more to your liking. I'm at the Entrance Ocean Bars, and as a Melbourneian, I don't get to see too many of these. I mean, of course, I've seen the icebergs at Bondi, but who hasn't? That was built back in 1931, and now there are over 100 ocean bars around New South Wales. They were built, of course, to protect swimmers from hazardous surf conditions. Now, it's a nice warm day. The water looks really tempting. My swimmers are in the car, but I... I might just save it for the next one. The MDZS EV is capable of 130 kilowatts and 280 newton meters. It has a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and a claimed range of 320 kilometers. So it's not the longest range car available on the market, but in reality, that's really all you need, especially as an urban runabout and more than enough for what we need to achieve on this trip. I think the best part about this car and any electric car really is the immediate throttle response. And of course, on a pleasant road trip, this car is exceptionally silent. Now, some great news. I just mentioned the range, but MG has just recently announced their long range MG ZS EV, which will give you up to 440 kilometres and it's due before the middle of this year. Another must see on this route is Nora Head Lighthouse, which was purposely built from 1901 to 1903 to protect ships travelling between Sydney and Newcastle with vital cargo and passengers. It's the last staffed lighthouse constructed in New South Wales and one of the first to be built with locally sourced materials. If you're up for the walk and tour, and trust me it's worth it, it's 96 stairs to reach the top where you'll get to experience a sensational 360 degree view. If you want to hang around for longer, you can, with accommodation also available on the grounds. This landmark is so rich in history they've even published their own book. You may or may not already know this, but not all electric vehicles have DC fast charging capabilities. The MG ZS EV can be fast charged at up to 80 kilowatts. Now we're on a snack stop, we don't really need to, but we may as well because there is a rapid fast charger here. So quick top up and in about 15, 20 minutes or so, we'll be on our way. I 
know there are sensational eateries around here, but on a beach run, you can't go past some good old fish and chips. Now, if you look around me, there's some insane real estate around this area. I'm not as high up, but I'm really not far off. And of course, I'm enjoying these vistas for absolutely nothing. There's still no reprieve from this hot weather, so I'm about to go for a walk and I'm gonna think ahead. You can set your aircon remotely. So what I'm gonna do is open my MG iSmart app, turn it down the temperature to cool. By the time I return, my car will be nice and chilly. Most of the time I talk a lot about the driving roads, but the really big winner on this trip has been the dramatic scenery. A lot of the time we've turned a corner or have come down a hill and it's really just hit us. It's been all about those ocean views. And there have been a lot of times as well that we've found these beaches through residential areas. So you've actually had to park up in front of a house, walk down the laneway, and that's the way they access the beach, which is something that I'm not really used to, but it really has been incredible seeing these amazing beaches, as I've said before, million dollar views, and I've really enjoyed it. This is a trip that you must put on the list because I've loved visiting the Central Coast. One of the great things about this trip is that it's not too far away from the CBD of Sydney. So you can do it in a day, or if you can carve some additional time out of your calendar and try and stay for a long weekend because there are so many activities to do. Now, if you're like me and you're not too into the sun, sand or sea, don't worry because there are so many great towns to hit up. and. You know, you can go in and take in those million dollar views, take a photo and just say that you were there. But I will give it to you, New South Wales. You are right. The sea is crystal clear. The sand is white and it really has been a beautiful trip. I've eaten at lots of great eateries. And even though I haven't hit the water as yet, I have enjoyed everything that there is to see along the central coast. So there really is something for everyone. You won't get bored throughout this region. In the way of roads, we had some wide open roads. We had a couple of runs down some freeways, but we did get some stints through some forest roads as well. make this trip that much cooler is a friend. Now, I haven't made any yet, but to be fair, I have been pretty busy driving. But I've thought of something that I think will keep me pretty occupied. This car has vehicle to load capabilities. And I thought to myself, what can I do on the beach? Well, this here is an inflatable unicorn. This here is a portable compressor. And this is the vehicle to load cable. So let's get started. So even though the MG is more affordable, thankfully it doesn't mean that you miss out on some of the cool stuff, like the V2L capability. Vehicle to load is a feature available on some electric vehicles, which uses the car's battery to power normal household appliances. 
As you can see, this unicorn is rather large and the wind is picking up, but that's not going to stop me. I'm at some of the best beaches, so I've got to get myself in that water. Yesterday, the sky looked sweet When we dropped a big bomb at our feet And sometime soon, we all might zoom To space and continue with another zoom Work and pace we really have accomplished a lot in a day and maybe if I spent less time in the water and more time actually focusing on the job at hand, then I wouldn't have needed to park up for the night. But I'm glad I did because we saved the best for last. Nothing. Today we're doing nothing at all. La 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 la. that it was just a short walk to reach a fascinating rock formation, I just had to set an early alarm because the best way to see it is, well, at sunrise. After a sequence of incredible views, I'm ending it with this. I think I scored the trifecta, a car that perfectly suited this trip, a sensational destination, and the beaches speak for themselves. And of course, I managed to get a swim in. Well, sort of. But the best part, I'm leaving here feeling a million bucks. Some things will never change. That's just the way it is. Ah, but don't you believe them? Said, heaven, boy, you can't go where the others go. But you don't look like they the way it is Some things will never change We left from Sydney but the journey really started just outside Gosford. It was then an easy drive north to our first beach stop at Forresters. We then hit up some of the most beautiful beaches on the coast including Tawoon Bay and the entrance. After this, we took in the sensational views at Nora Head Lighthouse, had a dip at the caves, and finished our road trip at the truly fascinating formation of Split Rock. If you want to know more about the MGZS EV, the long range coming soon, or anything about electric vehicles, be sure to head on over to drive.com.au. Next week on the show, James heads north of Melbourne and takes the all-new Mercedes-Benz EQE on a path of history to find out how something that's old can become new again. That's next week on Drive.